51, and it's been a few years since the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force decided prostate cancer screenings should no longer be mandatory. But one local doctor is worried that without mandatory screening, some people are developing late-stage prostate cancer before they ever realize they have it. Jenna Jane joins us now with why one doctor believes screenings are necessary. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. The reason that they decided that is because they looked at studies. While 15% of men will develop prostate cancer, only 3% of them will actually die from it. That's simply because prostate cancer isn't as aggressive as some of the other forms of cancer. And with those mandatory screenings, they found that at times, men were receiving treatment for an abnormality that may have never grown into something more serious. Now, Dr. Hauke with Nebraska Cancer Specialist says he completely understands that argument, but he says that taking away the mandatory screening isn't the answer. It's not the screening that's the problem. It's what we do with that information. But you don't know whether a man should be treated or not for the prostate cancer until number one, you make the diagnosis. And number two, you do that, that assessment of their risk, the risk stratification. So that risk stratification to kind of dumb it down to its most basic form is going to look at things like how aggressive the cancer is and also what stage it's in. And so Dr. Hauke says you need to speak with men specifically need to speak with their doctor about exactly when they should be getting these screenings, if they should be getting them. And from there, they can make a decision together about what's next. And Dave Cerise, if you or someone that you really love does develop prostate cancer or any kind of cancer, the American Cancer Society today is going to break ground on a brand new Hope Lodge that is actually Actually, you can see the construction equipment right behind me. That lodge is going to provide a place for families to stay if they have to travel a really long distance to come to Omaha for that life-saving treatment. That starts at 1030 today. WWT 6 News will be covering that, and we'll make sure to give you all the updates. If you want to help out with this project, I'll post a link to WWT.com with how you can donate. All right, Jenna Jane's reporting live this morning. Jenna, thank you.